Hi, welcome back to the table. Here we are. I will be highlighting Haunt the House by Kids Table Board Gaming. These games never fail. So you can see, I don't know if this is the Kickstarter or the normal version, but they did add some glowing, some glow in the dark paint to the cards and the game box that you can't see on the side right now. And uh, let's turn on some lights and uh, get this game shown to you. Oh, here they are. Lights back on. Uh, this is a very simple game. It's basically a set collection game uh, where you'll be going from room to room. Uh, you are playing the ghosts and you're trying to scare the kids away and the kids will be in these rooms. Uh, it scales up to five players. Uh, this is the two player version. We usually always play two player here lately. Uh, uh, the pieces has a bunch of meeples, five different meeples. Here's like a ghost, a different type of ghost. Again, they do have the glowing paint on them, which is kind of cool. Uh, that's a real nice touch they added to the game. Uh, the way the game works is you have a deck of cards. Every player has a different set of cards. The blue player, uh, purple lavender, my favorite. On that side, you will start with one of these a piece. And basically, these are just symbols. It's a crowbar and a candle. The way the game works, you'll be collecting sets of these. Uh, basically, you're trying to collect a lot of them. If you collect uh, one of one of them, you get one point. If you collect two of the same, it's four points. If you collect three of the same, it's nine points, all the way up to five. So if you have all, actually six, if you have all six of one, you'll get 36 points. So you're trying to basically stick to one or the other. Here's how the kids come out. Here's the first one, for example. And this is the this is how the way the card works. This is what you'll be getting. A candle and a map or a torch and a map up here. That's part of the set that you'll be collecting. As you can see down here, none of those match. These are kept secret. This is kind of a, uh, you start up with a two. So you can kind of concentrate on what you're gonna, which kid you're gonna be going for. For example, this next one here has a torch. So you might want to start collecting these two. And now you have two torches towards the end of the game. That's a little bit more points. And this one has a key as well. So we'll go ahead and put these two, this three. And I'll take this one just to show you how it works. Uh, basically along the same symbols. This one, for example, is going to need these type of scares is going to need that type of card and three of those. And this is how the cards work. Here's that card. You don't need one of those. And three of the books, which are bumps, which will look like that. So as soon as you play those cards, one of those and three of those in one of these rooms, you will scare the kid away. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this one back. This one again, let me just show you this one for example. This one has a different symbol, a skull. That's just straight two points. And these are the cool skulls right here. The one points, and the five pointers. And they glow in the dark, so cool. So we'll go ahead and flip the cards over. We have our secret cards here secretly. The other player has theirs. We'll go ahead and draw behind us three cards and you'll look at your cards. Put this back. So my hand of cards, I got two moans and a chill. So the get, way the game works is, move this over. There's a pile of rooms back here you'll be replacing. You'll see how that works. For example, this one needs two moans and a chill. Well, I have two moans. You can choose to put them up here, sight visible. So now we know that there's one towards the two here. Or you can place them down here hidden, where you can bluff, where you don't know what's here. So when somebody wants to reveal it, which I'll show how that works, we'll flip all the cards. If that matches, you scare the kid away. If you play a card visible up here, each of these rooms has a special action. You'll go ahead and read it and take care of that action. For example, in this one, it says draw three scares. So you'll take three scares from your hand and discard two of them. So you're keeping one. To replenish up to three, basically. Uh, let's put another one here. So, well, again, like I said, we'll just play some secretly or face up. On your turn, you have two actions. You take two actions. Very simple. You can either fill up your hand up to three if you have zero or one. So if you only have one card in your hand, you can fill up. Uh, you can also play any scare visible or invisible. And that is it. And then at the end, you can call Boo. Basically scare the kid where you would flip all the cards over. Now, if all the cards match, for example, let's say we had this one invisible, this one visible. Uh, he had played uh, this one invisible. 
let's have two cards in my hand here because I played one. And let's say he played this gel over here. So you can see over here, zoom in a little bit, that on this room they needed two moans and two shells. We have the two shells. You put this one here, so you know that's a moan. You didn't bluff it. The other player played that one. You don't know what that is. So we're going to call Boo. So we're going to all the help now flip them over. Now, we know we didn't make it because we're missing one more moan. We needed two. We have one. He bluffed us over here. On your hand of cards left, if you can meet that, you could scare the kid away. Now, every player who played a valid card invisibly will get a victory point. That's gone. Those that didn't get the cards back. So once that's defeated that room, all the cards go back to a discard pile. Every player has a color, so all the cards are easily given back to each player. Whoever won that keeps that. So now they're starting to set collect these. And then we re reveal another kit. Well, we reveal a different room. Now we have the trophy room. In that trophy room, we have that guy. Again, same thing. Those are the symbols you're looking for. And that is what he's going to be scared of. Chill and three bumps. Scare him away. Now, my turn, I only got one card left. So, like you said on the actions, the next turn, you can go ahead and draw up to three cards if you have one or zero cards in your hand. So now it's the next player's turn, and they repeat that same thing. It will keep on repeating until... On a two-player game, there is, I believe, five. Yeah, as soon as somebody has collected five five kids here, uh, uh, five, uh, the game ends on uh, three plus is four. As soon as somebody has their fourth, uh, the game ends. Uh, the scoring I already showed you, you're collecting these. On the book, it'll show you real simple. All you're collecting is on these, these tokens here. So you're just going to start adding up how many torches you have, how many maps you have, and then you'll score that. It's a really easy score. Now, this game does come with an expansion, I believe. I got the Kickstarter. I uh, I get all the games Kickstarter because they never fail. Uh, this one comes with this one, the Graveyard. I don't know if that one's in the, in the retail version. Uh, this game it is it's very easy to find. It used to be hard to find. Now I see it all the time at Barnes & Noble for a great price. Pick it up there or, in, or any local store anywhere. It's an inexpensive game. It's a great game for this time of the year, of course. And also, on the box, I'm pretty sure it does come with the Phantom, I believe, expansion. Uh, as soon as you played a few games, you could throw the Phantom expansion. It's a very simple add-on. Uh, like I said earlier... When we reveal and you're uh, and you have revealed the correct scare, instead of getting a, a token, you can take your ghost. These are kind of just cute pieces. They're not much. Uh, they don't play. They're not used much in the game. And you place it on that stack, the phantom stack. Now, after the scare is successful, everybody that has a ghost on that stack of cards will go ahead and we'll move it down here. If you have a ghost on a stack of cards. You will go ahead and uh, on turn order, uh, first player, the player I just scared, will go ahead and pick two of these cards, look at them, and keep one. Now, basically, the way these cards work is they don't count towards your hand limit of three. You can have more of these, and you'll play them at any time during your turn. This one, if you played it at the end of your turn, it's, it's laid out on your board, on your, on your, on your, on the, on your table back here. Go back here. You'll go ahead and score one point at the end of the game. And it has a, a, an effect down here. You can read and do that. Uh, here's another one, for example. This one's a good one. At the end of the game, if you play that card, you're going to get three extra points. And it has an effect. This one basically is, it costs two actions to play. So basically, to play this card, you're, that's all your actions. Because you only get two actions per turn. Another one here, for example. A Mimic. You will lose uh, a victory point, a Skull. But you'll go ahead and do the instruction there. And there are a ton of these. You'll, I don't think you're ever going to go through any of these. All of them, I mean. So basically, again, in turn, instead of getting one of these, you can get one of these cards, which can optionally give you points and special powers. Uh, the Haunted House Graveyard Mansion. I'll let you just figure that one out. I haven't played with that one much. 
but basically you just get four little gravestones you'll place your you place your guy in your gravestone and i believe you just flip things these gravestones over for more points uh again that's haunt the mansion by uh kid stable board game uh the uh, the the artist here and the uh, designer they're always on facebook they're more than happy to answer any questions anything you you have they're very active in the community they're always cranking out games on kickstarter a great price range and uh they never miss here again that was haunt the house i know the game highlighted during halloween thanks for watching take care